and welcome to Hack Explorer. In this channel, we will be taking a deep dive into cyber security. So what is Security Onion? Uh, Security Onion is basically an open source distribution that combines a lot of open source tools into one box where you, a security analyst could use them to analyze the network. So he can do like analyze the network, enterprise security monitoring and special log management. The main idea, the developers behind Secret Onion, the main idea was a Windows admin who doesn't have any knowledge in Linux tools, he can install this box on his network and see what's actually happening, see the malicious events that are happening. It has made it easy. So there are a lot of wizards in these things, a lot of next next finished things. So it will be very easy to install and very easy to deploy this particular setup in an uh, in enterprise network as well as you can install this in your home uh, to monitor your network. So let's look at the tools one by one inside Security Onion and hope you'll get an idea. And uh, this will be a multi-part series where I'll give you introduction for this Security Onion and we'll be installing it and see how we can work with that one. So basically it's an open source Linux distribution. Uh, for intrusion detection, enterprise security monitoring, and log management. Just like Kali, how they have bundled all the security offensive tools. Here we have all the tools that are needed by an analyst bundled together in an easy to use installation. We have can see a lot of tools. I'll show you one by one. Remember, in the next video, we'll be installing this and we'll be going uh, in, in detail with all the tools. So this video will just give a overview of how this tool is jump into our virtual box which I have installed right as you can see uh, there are many tools in security onion uh, one of the tools is a squill so I just, I just open more squill so squill is the graphical user interface for snort so it will show all the snort the alert and you can see there are multiple alerts you can dig into an alert you can see what about more information just like the packet capture you can see as a transcript it will show what packet has been uh, reached and there are a lot of information and you also have a web-based interface so let me go into that so this is squirt a beautiful web-based interface which you can, can access from anywhere on your network if you're on the management network of course this will show you all the uh, alerts in squill but in a different web interface so we have 129 errors for you can see there's a possible Kalina host name that is running on our network so that's the alert so 120 times it has been reported you can see each and every event we can detail see and if you want to see even details just like squill you can go to the, the, the tool called catme and it will show the particular DHCP or the UDP output and how it has detected Kali Linux packet. And the major update uh, which has come with Security Annie in 2019, we have Elasticsearch. The searching interface is Kibana. I have uh, executed a search syntax. I just want to uh, see what are the attacks that is coming from 56 and destination IP is particular 56104. So I want to see the communication between them. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, post requests between these things. So using Kibana, we can visualize. Uh, I can see a dashboard over here, which shows me uh, all of the network activity that is going on my network, uh, which is reported by this sensor. Now, here the installation is only one sensor, so it will show uh, all the sensors like this, which is very interesting to see. We can see there's a lot of uh, FTP activity, DHCP activity, HTTP activity, okay, if I can see here, you can see uh, thing, the things in reverse also. IPS has detected over 6,000 events. So how those 6,000 events are defined? So we can see this, we have a big amount of TP attacks. And another uh, good tool that is used in uh, Security Onion is uh, Bro. Now Bro actually analyze all the traffic, not like Snort or Suricata where it will only detect an anomaly in the network where we create a rule uh, okay if there's FTP act, a malicious activity show it to us or something like that you can create a rule now, now broad it'll log all the traffic and all the event it's a very good way to analyze your network for example I can see if there's any DNS related activity in your network you can see okay some DNS queries has been learned in the past seven days which is very good and if I dig in deeper uh, you can see from which source, who has generated which 
server. So all of these dashboards are designed to uh, help a security analyst or a security administrator to view what is happening in his network and to quickly uh, discover things. So I hope you got an idea of what Security Onion is. In the next episode, we'll be installing Security Onion and see what it can do. And if I, if I show you a preview, we'll see where to install sensors and managers and what will be our network setup for the next video. I'll be working on my next video and I'll be showing you how to install a Security Onion. I hope you learned something from this and thank you for watching.